Hey, this is Keith Tobias at Bona Fitness. I want to introduce you to one of our new trainers and one of my favorite people, Angela Beck. Um, one of the things I like best about Angela is her background. I, I get real excited when, when you truly have an athlete in your environment. And Angela, obviously, is my friend now, but came to me as a client and um, used to be a gymnast. Mm -hmm. And we had this, I told her to do a back tuck or something one day and our perceptions were way different. I thought she was going to jump and pull <laughs> her knees it, to her You said a chin. round off tuck. A round off tuck. In gymnast world that's a different, that's yeah. different than what you were thinking. And, and, and <laughs> fat boy weightlifting thing, I just wanted her to jump up and do a tuck after she did this round off thing. Because I mix it in stuff like that all the time. So show me something gymnastic wise that you do that's pretty cool mm -hmm. for, a, for a muscular lady. I, like, I can do none of that. I'm going to walk over. Awesome, that was cool. Um, tell me what sports you played in high school. Uh, well, I was a competitive gymnast growing up, and then uh, I cheered for about six years. You're and tall ran track. And ran track. You're a tall competitive Tall gymnast, gymnast. yes. Yeah, so. And that ended because I got a little bit too tall. So I turned to cheerleading because <laughs> I could still tumble right. as a cheerleader. So. You know, and I always tell everybody to treat everybody well. Um, we, you know, all y'all know we have a trainer here, Marshall White, um, who we, we, we've grown to love despite his in love of himself. <laughs> 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 He's here, um, but but you used to actually be a cheerleader for Marshall in Magnolia. Yes. And so, yes. how long did that go on? Six years. Six years. We graduated the same year, so. Right. I remember I when when Marshall came here. You said that guy picked on me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Are mean, yeah, so. I mean, that's why. That's because he likes. <laughs> I you. forgive him. <laughs> I, I forgive. Him. But but <laughs> we're excited to have Angela here, and 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 I think the thing that I want everybody to embrace most about you is your background. I mean, now that you've you know you've done fitness competitions, you've done figure competitions, mm -hmm. um, you are a gymnast, you do work with kids, you are a mother, um, you get it. You know what I mean? You get it. You get how hard it is to get up every morning, prep your meals, and get your daughter ready and gathered up and sometimes male trainers parents or, or mothers feel like we don't get it. Um, does that make sense? It totally makes sense yeah that's kind of my biggest reason for wanting to be involved in training and uh, here at Bona is the whole mom aspect of it. Um, forget you know to me being an athlete all that great stuff is wonderful I appreciate that. Um, to me it's about it's my background or being a mom and being um, into you know fitness and just living a healthy lifestyle because you know four years ago when I had my daughter this was not something I ever imagined I would do because I was so overweight so unhappy so depressed um, couldn't lose the post pregnancy weight I tried everything under the sun and nothing was working for me how long did you breastfeed um, I, I breastfed for only six months because of working full time, it got a little bit got difficult. Hard. But even there, it's like, you know, when you get pregnant, you know you're going to gain weight. Um, I had some other, you know, things going on in my life that um, kind of led me to just making really unhealthy choices during my pregnancy. Um, so I put on more, more weight than most, most women do. I've heard of women gaining more weight than that. How much weight did you gain? I'm being About now. 50 pounds. It was okay. somewhere between, I, I want to say it was like 47 pounds. Okay. So, it's not terrible. Um, but, but it's no, right. but it was, it was a lot for me. A lot of it happened right toward the end. Kind of wasn't expecting like to gain that much. Yeah. yeah. But the thing was, um, after I had my daughter, I don't know what in my mind made me think that it would just go away. And that was the hard part was it did not. Right. You know, I thought, oh, I'll just bounce right back. Right. And that was not the case. It was an absolute struggle for 18 months to try to lose weight. And I did things, you know, that I would lose, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds in a month. In a month. Wow. Okay. And then gain 20, 30 of it back in a month, you know. So yo, yo. I just wasn't doing the right thing. Right. And uh, so when I finally... <laughs> got you know, introduced to the world of diet and exercise, right? The right way to do things. That's when my life changed. Right. And I, I look back now, you know, look at my, my pictures, you know, competition. And I know that's not everyone's goal, especially moms, you know, right. women. Not everybody, and I would even argue that's not, not when you're the most healthy. That'd be, absolutely not. That would be my no, argument no, about No, certainly not. I agree. Yeah, okay. Right. We know that, um, right. certainly. But that, that may not be everyone's goal, and, I, and sometimes I, I, I don't like showing that as my after picture right. um, because that's not always the goal that, you know, right. I don't want women to look at that and go, I don't look like that. Right. Um, but I just, I look back and I, I know that if I could go from where I was physically, mentally, emotionally to where I am now, 
anyone can do it if they have the right encouragement and guidance. Amen. If they have the advice and the guidance of someone who cares and who understands and who's been there. And I want to be that person. Amen. I want to be that person for, for women who feel like they have nowhere to turn. Right? Amen. I agree Options. with that. I, and, so, I, and I've said this about, you know, Bone is not the biggest gym in town. It doesn't have the nicest equipment. But we definitely have the coolest members. And, I, and I'll argue that to anybody that, that, I mean, you can come in here right now and tell us your goal and we're going to give you every ounce of support we have. And that's another reason. Everybody. Yeah. everybody. That's another reason I'm excited you're here, you know, because um, it's just making us that much better. Thank you. Um, Glad to be here. That is. So you find Angela on what you know, what's your uh, you social You can media? Uh, look me up on Instagram at love this ID, ID life. Sorry. Love this ID life. Uh, Facebook, look for Angela D. Thacker. Or you can also look up my ID life page at love this ID life. Or email me, Angela.idlife at gmail.com. I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Find us on Facebook, Bonafitness Kate. Thank you.